boys and girls, welcome to art class. Today we are using the color wheel as our inspiration. We will be creating a color wheel umbrella. Do you see how the two are very, very similar? Colors on a color wheel go in a particular spot and we're gonna see if we can figure that out today. So we will be thinking about primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And in between, between each of those, there are the secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. Did you notice how the rainbow is kind of like a color wheel too? This is what I have uploaded in Schoology. You can print it out and just use that as your art lesson. At school, we will be placing this copy under another piece of paper. And what I would like for you to do is trace it using a ruler. If you're at home and you would like to trace with a ruler, well, of course you can. Using a ruler is a skill that takes practice. So you put the ruler down and you hold it nice and still and see if you can trace that six-sided shape that you can see through your paper. Look how I'm taking my non-dominant hand, holding that ruler very firm and pressing my pencil right up against the ruler when I trace it. So you're going to trace all of those six lines to make the six parts of the umbrella with your pencil. Now the next step is to connect the lines. They could be connected with a straight line, a curve, or a bump. I am going to connect mine with a line that curves in just a teeny tiny bit. So draw softly and go ahead and connect all six lines to make the six sections of your umbrella. Something like that. Now, we're gonna add a raincoat for a person that's holding the umbrella. It's not a dress, it is a raincoat or a rain jacket. So I'm using a shape that kind of looks like that. Of course, you can pause the video if you need to, to get caught up if I'm going too fast. I started with a line right down the middle and I'm gonna use these two lines, one that's long and one that's shorter to make the leg. I'm gonna come straight out and curve down and then turn and go straight across, make a little triangle and then connect to make the heel of the boot, the rain boots or the galoshes. So right above the boot, could be just someone's leg or it could be like jeans or pants or whatever is tucked inside those boots. I'm adding here a puddle of water using just a nice bumpy organic shape. Whoa, check this out. This is what I'd like for you to try next. You're going to trace and erase the whole drawing every single line, go over it with your black marker and then take your eraser and give it a nice erase. Okay, so moving along today, we're going to add patterns to the primary color sections. So red, yellow, and blue. So see if you can find red, yellow, and blue crayons. Here are some good patterns for this project. So I want you to start with a red crayon first in one of these patterns. I'm gonna choose the stripes. And in this first section, because the red section is at the top of the color wheel, that is where I'm going to place my stripes. Notice how I'm making them very heavy, very bold. I'm using firm pressure on the crayon. Next art class, I'm going to put watercolor paint on top and I want them to stand out. Did you see those last three lines? Look how light they are. They need to be a little bit darker. So make sure you're putting that crayon nice and heavy today. Well, I'm going to skip the orange section and move on to the yellow section of the color wheel because that's a primary color. So I'm going to choose the polka dot pattern and use my yellow crayon in that section. So remember, today we're just doing red, yellow, and blue, the primary colors. You can use any of these patterns or you may wanna come up with one of your own. So it looks like today I need one more pattern for my blue crayon. I'm going to skip the green space and go right to the blue spot. And that is where I'm going to do, I think I'll choose the spirals or the swirls. And I'm gonna fill that section with my blue crayon pattern. Remember, next art class, that is when we will use the watercolor paint to do a crayon resist 
on top of these crayons. So I cannot wait. I'm so excited to share with you next time how to finish it off. But for today, this is where we are going to stop. Thank you.